Long before telecommunications was even a word, humanity was obsessed with its central concept, long distance communication. Some 40,000 years ago, the earliest methods of relaying messages consisted of smoke signals, Homer wrote about the early Greeks' use of fire in the Iliad, and drumming, very loud drumming. This was used in Africa and Asia. Although primitive, these approaches were inventive at the time, relying on coded language. Certainly, there were other clever approaches through the centuries. The Greeks' carrier pigeons, the use of ravens in medieval times. But the real breakthrough came in 1451 with the advent of mass communication. Johann Gutenberg, a German goldsmith, invented the printing press. It replaced monks and scribes duplicating documents painstakingly by hand. The technology introduced concepts that we associate with the internet today. A one-to-many mode of communication, widespread access to knowledge, mobile information. The history of telecommunications is a story of evolution. And often, as in other industries, progress was incremental. Inventions built on earlier ideas. In the 1790s, for instance, French engineer Claude Schapp built the first telegraphy system. For the 136 miles between Lille and Paris, stone towers were constructed as far apart as 20 miles and used to relay flag-based messages. Electricity changed everything. 50 years after Schapp, Samuel Morse and his colleagues created the telegraph. It relayed electrical impulses, Morse code, the descendant of those early smoke signals and drums, over wires. Soon, those wires extended across the country and even under the ocean. Instant long-distance communication was finally a reality. The telephone, invented in 1876, became a household device in the 1940s. It made telecommunications personal. Alexander Graham Bell's invention transmitted the human voice, in the early days, multiple voices over shared party lines. The journey to modern telecommunications is punctuated not only with major milestones, but also with ideas that were ahead of their time. For instance, Bell's wireless telephone call in 1880. That breakthrough didn't catch on right away, but it eventually led to today's fiber optics. If the first 40,000 years were a methodical climb, the last 30 years have been a sprint. From the internet, to smartphones, to wearables. From email to texting to video chat. We all know this most recent chapter. We've lived it. What we may not have noticed, though, is how telecommunications has shifted yet again. From communication between humans to communication between machines. We live in a world where internet-connected devices are constantly talking to each other. More often than not, they're talking about us. <laughs>